Luke. Why? Because I knew you'd react this way. <sighs> Between the Mothership Shao and you guys, <laughs> I chose you guys. And I have no doubt that I made the correct choice. Shao would have done the same thing. You are the one who is connected to Shao. You are Sarah, right? Are you able to see me now? Who are you? I'm Alma, the first Clarice Craze. I was here when you came here before, but you couldn't see me. But now you can see me though. Do you understand why that is? Because of Xiao's power? Yeah, that's right. Xiao's power is inside you. He's sleeping within you. He is way too much for your vessel to handle, though. If he were to wake up, it would destroy you. That is the reason he is sleeping. what happened, huh? Pull it together, everyone! Sierra, what I'll give you full permissions! You two! If you died back there, we'd be finished! You've got to look at the big picture! That's what Shao would say. I can sense his feelings bubbling up inside me. <laughs> and he'd also say, it isn't like you to give up without a fight. You're right. He would. Yeah, Shao hated losing. Sierra, can you contact the other ships? How's everyone doing? Right! Ships currently operating under independent calculations. We've received word on Ark's situation. The ships are scattered, but the six are confirmed alive. Operators are verifying the number of survivors. We'll know the full situation in an hour. Shao predicted this would happen. He transferred his authority in stages, so Ark's could operate without him. Unfortunately for you, Xiao, it's a little early for retirement. Sierra, change our course! We're heading for Amduskia. Why are we going there? It was the last thing Xiao told me. Head to Amduskia. There must be some kind of key there. Something to help us out. Unidentified warp detected! Initiating telescopic imaging! What is that? An unknown fleet? It's Shiva, the goddess of Annihilation's fleet! So, the Armada of Annihilation? More importantly, it appears to be packed with hostile signals! They mean to pursue us. Thorough, aren't they? Claris Craze and I will use our fleets to draw them away. Huey and I know how to put on a good light show, so we'll be perfect decoys. Huey! Claris Craze! No need to worry, predecessor. When Huey and I are together, we can't be beat. Exactly. We're invincible. We'll keep the 
the troops all fired up too. Leave the fighting to the combat bureau. You all focus on doing what we can't do. <laughs> Guess I'll join them then. I've said my piece. All that's left is to have a blast shooting up some baddies. I had a feeling you'd show up. I'd ask what you want, but it's obvious. You want to know about Shiva, yes? I'm as informationally challenged on that front as you are, sadly. Harriet told you most of it already. I created Harriet. She was the ultimate photon vessel. Undoubtedly, my greatest masterpiece. The vessel gained a sense of self. A will. Not unlike the birth of intelligence itself. Xion's beginnings. The sudden birth of intelligence within the oceans. I recreated that phenomenon. If not for those pompous barbarians who saw her as a mere vessel, she would have attained omniscience. I had the time, the technology, the Akashic records to use as a model. And yet, the people wished for an instant solution. They ripped the original soul from the vessel, poured photons into it, and used it as bait. Bait for the profound darkness, which exists to expunge photons. Their plan succeeded. The profound darkness entered the vessel, gained intelligence, and was bound to its physical form. All that remains was to dispose of the body. But the barbarians miscalculated. The entity now known as Shiva, had attained the ability to understand others. She left the Dark Falls, cancerous outgrowths of mortal desires, to tie her to this universe, all in anticipation of her eventual return. And that is what we are. So, a rather pathetic tale, is it not? Relating it to you is my way of thanking you. As a person. As Luther. You saved Harriet's soul. Knowing that has been most beneficial to me. Xion was naturally aware of her as well, I suspect. Which is why they were sympathetic. That's a wrap for the shipwide announcements. You must be exhausted, Ulk. Well done, Ulk. But by the way, the Guardian's here. Oh, <laughs> welcome aboard. Sorry we're putting so much pressure on you. We'll do what we can to help. I know we'll succeed if it's a team effort. My next task is to get the fleet up to... Oh, oh dear. I I'm getting dizzy all of a sudden. Oak! Jeez, are you okay? Oak! <laughs> uh, just got a little lightheaded there for a second. Thanks, Theo. You can't just laugh this off, Oak. You're pushing yourself way too hard. Oh, <laughs> is that how it looks? <laughs> you have to know your limits. If you keep this up, you're seriously going to pass out! 
<sighs> but if I don't make it count now, we're finished. This is no time to take a break. You're right. We'll do it together then. Whatever it takes. <laughs> oh my gosh. What is this, Theo? Usually you'd try to stop me or shy away when things get tough. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, the old me would have forced you to take a break or just get depressed that I couldn't help. I'm still anxious about a lot of things, but knowing how committed you are makes me want to help you even more. I made a decision to be with you, Ulk, and moments like these are exactly why. <laughs> Whoa, hey, you all right, Ulk? <laughs> I'm fine, just fine. In fact, I feel like I can do anything now. <laughs> Thanks, Theo. It's nice you two are hitting it off, but can you save it for another time? A real public display of embarrassment. <gasps> Sorry, Admiral, but can you put the romance on hold until we're gone? <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, I had you all worried for nothing. I'm completely fine now. Uh, uh, time to get to work. I know we can overcome this and regain control of our future. Those photoners were remarkably strong, weren't they? Just like with Shiva and Mitra, they seem to be absorbing our photons to cancel out attacks. Can all photoners absorb photons like that? If I had to guess, it's Shiva's protection. What do you mean? Shiva is the only photoner who can absorb photons naturally. She exists to contain all photons, to absorb them. And so she does. But it seems Shiva is capable of sharing this gift with her allies, the goddess's divine protection, if you will. Does that mean all of Shiva's allies are capable of absorbing photons? Correct. Each photoner varies in capability, however. They're far from invincible. Oh, really? Yes. Each photoner appears to have a certain tolerance for photon absorption. An attack that exceeds this photonic tolerance level should be able to harm them. We already have proof of this. You were able to defeat those photoner troops, weren't you? Oh, yeah. They were pretty strong, but we did manage to beat them. So, if we can just hit Shiva with something that exceeds her tolerance for photons... Yes. It should be possible to defeat her. That said... Shiva is the profound darkness incarnate. She was created to contain all photons. We require enough strength to exceed such titanic photonic power. That's gonna be tough, huh? Whew. Glad that's over with. ARC's independent operating codes. Never thought those would need to be used. Excuse me. Uh, oh, uh, hi, Kostra. What do you need? My presence is unwanted as always. I see. No matter. Excellent timing. I can get you both up to speed. We still can't predict what will happen, but the situation has settled down a bit. Firstly, Shiva and her forces now have complete control of the Mothership. We're referring to it as Mothership Shiva, and are currently searching for its whereabouts. 